What's the good word? Holy. As we hear in Revelation in 1 Corinthians today. Day and night without ceasing they sing, Hagios, 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 the Lord God Almighty, who was and is and is to come. And to those who Hagios Minois in Christ Jesus, call to be Hagios, together with all those who in every place call on the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. When we hear the word holy, I think the first reaction for many of us is, well, God is holy and I'm definitely not. It's one of those words like perfect or righteous that it just makes us aware of how much we're not that. And it's not a word we tend to use for ourselves, right? I don't know how many people tend to refer them themselves as holy. And if we find people who do, uh, we feel like they're acting like they're better than us, right? Uh, and so it can create shame. It just reminds us of all the ways we fall short and we aren't who we're meant to be. And yet, Paul uses this exact same word to describe the Corinthian church at the beginning of his letter to them. A letter that addresses a lot of problems that were going on with these believers of divisiveness and fighting and greed and problematic sexual practices, uh, the list goes on. And yet Paul will call them holy or call them saints. That's one of the other ways that we translate this word. At its root, being holy is about being set apart. Uh, and, and that doesn't necessarily have in it this idea that one is bad and one is, is way better. I think a good example of this would be something like Christmas, right? Uh, and in fact, the where, where we get the word holiday is just a combination of holy day. And Christmas, it is a day that's set apart from others. It is special. It's something we look forward to. It doesn't mean that every other day is bad. It's just this one day, uh, it, it has a, a special meaning for us. And so it, it reminds us that we need enchanted and special and unique times and, and maybe even spaces. Um, maybe you've been in a place, in a cathedral or in nature, that you would say it felt holy. And along with that, I think that should also influence how we see ourselves. We should see ourselves also as uniquely created and uniquely loved by God. We're also in process. Um, we're being holied, if you want to use the word that way. The word that translations usually go with is sanctified. But again, it's the same concept. Uh, that's what Paul says is happening to these Corinthians. Um, and it's in Christ. It's not our own effort that makes us holy. It's, it's Christ that does. And when we're in Christ, little by little, that process is hopefully happening in us. And so it is about how we see ourselves. We shouldn't look at ourselves with shame. Even though I know all of us do struggle with sin, we identify first as a saint. We identify as holy, not because of what we have done, because of who God has made us to be. Nothing that we do changes that status we have, because God says we are holy.